So we took a golf cart tour around Rome and what did we think about it? We're gonna talk about that today. So again, we had the golf cart tour and the one advantage of taking the golf cart tour in Rome is you can just cover more ground than you can on foot. It was a half day, it was a four hour golf cart tour. We had the tour guide, um, Sophia. So Sophia, if you're watching this, you were amazing, 10 out of 10. Um, so knowledgeable and just fun and really kind of tweaked it a little bit to what we wanted and we really appreciated that as well. Uh, so things that we went to, we went to the Colosseum on the outside. So you don't get to go inside for things that you would have to buy tickets for, except for the Pantheon. We actually chose not to go inside the Pantheon um, because our hotel was right next to it. Although our wonderful tour guide, FYI, on Sundays, you can get free tickets into the Pantheon. And she was able to order those for us and schedule a time. Um, we actually ended up not using it because we were doing other things. But know that you can do that on this golf cart tour as well. So again, we went to the Coliseum on the outside and was able to get some pictures and take a look at that. More to come on that. We actually have an in-depth, we did take a private tour of the Coliseum. So more to come on future videos on what that was like. Then we went to the Piazza Novana. We went to the Spanish Steps. And one, one nice thing is the golf cart, to, golf cart can kind of squeeze into places. If you haven't been to Rome, the streets are pretty narrow, a little bit crazy. I could never drive it. And so they're kind of able to get into places and park in places that normal cars can't park into. So we were able to get out. We were able to go have a coffee at the cafe, which was awesome. Um, and if you want to know more about that, if you need to use the bathroom, sometimes you have to pay a euro um, and it is cash. So you would need the euro coin, $1 euro, or um, you can buy a coffee. And so we pulled over in our golf cart at the Spanish Steps about midway through our tour, went into the coffee shop, toured the Spanish Steps, did a little, found the designer shops and where we wanted to go shopping later. Um, and how it works, if you're not, if you're an American, you're not sure how it works, you order your coffee kind of at the bar and then you take your little receipt and you go give the receipt and you will get your coffee. And you can either stand at the bar or, which is what we did, and we actually asked for a to-go cup, and they gave us a to-go cup, um, so we took it with us on the golf cart, or you pay a little extra and you sit down um, at the coffee shop. So that was a little bit different, a little unique, not, not hard at all. People were wonderful, um, and of course, we had to try the pastries there as well, um, but just know that is something you can ask your golf cart tour. If you just need a drink or need to use the restroom, no issues with that as well. Then we went to the Basilica Santa Maria Sopra Minerva. Um, and, and the wonderful thing about having a tour guide that you can't, you get, um, on this or other tours that you can't get on your own is you find out some of the little nuances. So in front of the Basilica Santa Maria Sopra Minerva, there is a elephant statue. And so you'll find out some funny things about where the elephants, I'll say rear end is, um, facing. And so ask your tour guide about that. Um, because there is some really, um, I'll call comical historical stories about where they put some of these beautiful statues in front of these things. Um, very ornate. Um, the Basilica was gorgeous. We were able to go in there and spend all the time that we wanted. Um, so if that is important to you, know that you'll be able to do that. And you also can say a prayer um, for St. Caterina de Siena. And I apologize if I'm mispronouncing these. Um, it just really was um, a beautiful church and highly recommend stopping. And we had as much time as we wanted in there. Then we went to the Trevi Fountain and uh, again, super crowded. They were able, she was able to park um, in an area that again, you wouldn't be able to necessarily park on foot or on foot, of course you can, but in a car. And so my recommendation is if you want less people at the Trevi Fountain, you really got to be there by like 6 a.m. or certainly before 7 a.m. When we were there, it was very crowded. Um, it was fine though. We were able to get some pictures and video. And so for us, it was fine. Um, but I do know for some people that would be very important. And again, our tour guide was able to kind of tell us some interesting facts about when the Trevi Fountain was built, um, about certain statues that were built to block views of certain shops because the artist was upset with some of the shop owners that are still live today. Just the history of Rome is just so amazing to us, um, you know, for, as being an American and just the, the history and literally thousands, hundreds of years and thousands of years ago. And to hear about that history, um, you can't get on your own. 
So I do recommend the golf cart tour for things like that. It really was super fun. Our goal, we were there doing this golf cart tour. It was actually um, Rome's holiday. It was June, June 2nd, June 2nd. And so it was their like independence day. And so Rome was very busy and a lot of things were closed. So the golf cart tour was perfect for that. So pro tip, if you're there on a day, a Sunday or a major holiday that things are closed, get a golf cart tour because you're not necessarily going inside anyway, but you'll be able to go and see things and they'll recommend restaurants and different things like that. So that's what we did. And we were really happy we did. But because it was a Sunday, uh, we are Catholic. And one of the things that we wanted to do is the Catholic, the Pope, excuse me, does a um, mass and a blessing every Sunday. And so we knew that at 11.55 or noon, he'd be doing this blessing. And so we asked, would you be willing to go over there? It's not part of the tour. And she was like, sure, no problem. So she took the golf cart tour. The problem is... Uh, There was already barricades up for the Jubilee, which is next year. So right now we're in 2024, but in 2025, Rome is having the, the Jubilee, which happens every 25 years. And so if you are planning and going next year in 2025, know that it will be significantly busier. So for us, the crowds were fine. It was busy, but it was, it wasn't terrible. Um, You know, no different than like a Disney world kind of crowds, if you will. Uh, but it sounds like uh, it will be double to triple the amount of people um, for Jubilee. So because of that, they're preparing things, they're painting things, and they're restoring things, and they're cleaning things up. So there was a barricade to where we couldn't get there um, to see the Pope do that. Now, we could have gone all the way around the city um, to a different entrance. Um, we chose not to because of timing. But do know, you can ask your um, golf cart tour person to tweak it. They, they may say no. Our Sophia was amazing and she was all in with whatever we wanted to see. Uh, then we did go to a couple other, another basilica, which the name is, um, I'm sorry, I did not write down, but it had 3D, beautiful, ornate ceilings, um, beautiful church. Um, so things like that, that are kind of landmarks. Um, we also saw, you know, other piazzas that just to hear that history um, of how the entry to Rome was formed um, just really was fascinating. Uh, we also then experienced the Nazoni Fountain. So if you're not familiar with Rome, they had built this, you know, 2,000 years ago or more, uh, fresh water that you can get out of any fountain in Rome. And there are over 2,000 of these, I'm told, in Rome. And we had to experience it. So we had brought our water bottles, but we also needed to experience it uh, the old-fashioned way. Um, So I am going to insert a video here for you to see that. So anyway, that was super fun. Did experience it. The day that we did the golf cart tour, it was warm, but it was kind of rainy. Um, So we had some... I'll call it warmer clothes on, um, and we were fine. It did not take away from the tour at all. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, my oldest son might have said it might have been his number one. Between the food and wine tour and the golf cart tour, between those two, for me and my oldest son, Jaden, we actually kind of felt like it was our number one or number two. If you want to hear more about our food and wine tour, which, like I said, for us was almost equal, they kind of battle each other for one and two, take a look at this video. I highly recommend the food and wine tour of Rome as well, which is what we kicked our first day off when we flew in. And then the rest of the day, the golf cart, she dropped us off. Um, We were able to like I said, walk around the Pantheon. We got to see some other things um, that I that has I don't want to take away from the detail when you are in it, but I cannot stress enough the golf cart tour. We would actually book it again. Even though we, we've seen these things, we would actually the next time book it again. We enjoyed it that much. Even though you can walk to it, it just had a different feeling to learn about different things and you just can't absorb it all. And so I really want to listen in and ask more questions the next time. Then the rest of our afternoon, we actually went to the Jewish ghetto. Um, And so we tried our hand, no pun intended, at the mouth of truth. Um, So if you're not familiar with the mouth of truth, basically, if you put your hand in the lion's mouth, um, if if you're lying, if you're a liar, it'll clamp down. If not, it'll be open. So we tried our hand at the mouth of truth um, and really enjoyed that. Know, though, that they close. So when we got there, um, there is a closing time. And there is a security guard standing there. We were kind of getting close, like within 15 minutes of it closing. And there is a line. So even though we were there on a holiday and it wasn't um, busy, so to speak, 
there was a line. We did manage to get in, uh, but they closed the gate and that's it. You're either in or you're out, whether you were standing out inside or not. So do keep that in mind for some of these things that the hours are kind of hard set. Um, and then again, we were able to walk to all of these things as well. So the nice thing about the golf cart tour is we kind of got a snippet of everything. We got some history and where our hotel was, we were able to walk to all of these things as well on our own time. If you want to know, our hotel was near the, was three minute walk to the Pantheon. If you want to know more about the hotel, take a look at this video um, and where we stayed and why would we stay there again. If you found this helpful at all, please give me a like and subscribe. It really does help move my channel forward and take a look at this video.